Hey guys, Adam Savage here in my cave. Uh, I have just recently gotten back from my first con of the year, Planet Comic Con in Kansas City, Missouri, which was freaking delightful. Uh, at my cons, of course, like any other celebrity, I sign autographs, I take pictures, uh, I check out what's going on at the con, and I talk to fans, it's fantastic. Uh, I also, inspired by a, a, a friend of mine, I also bring a costume with me to the con. Uh, in this case, I brought my Captain America stealth suit, which is a magnificent piece we have covered on the channel before. It is made like the real costume, and that is to say it has a ballistic nylon texture screen printed onto four-way stretch dance fabric. It's a stunner. Um, I love wearing it. I love taking pictures with fans in it. Uh, and. I, I am such a cosplayer that even the cases I put my costumes in are part of my cosplay. And this is a, uh, 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 an ancient Zarges, Z-A-R-G-E-S, shipping case. Zarges makes my favorite shipping cases. Uh, and they've been doing it for decades. And I bought some collapsible shipping cases because back in the 60s, they didn't have cardboard boxes everywhere. And so they had to use reusable shipping crates and stuff like that. I know, I didn't, I mean, I know there was cardboard back then, but it wasn't as ubiquitous as it is today. So I took one of those collapsible Zarja shipping cases and I made this, uh, this case. And I, again, we've covered this on the channel. Um, this is a beautiful case. I think it satisfies for me exactly what I think Cap's case should look like, right? Like when he is in uh, uh, Endgame and he says to Ant-Man and everyone else, all right, let's suit up. Um, this is precisely, or is it Civil War? It is Civil War. That's, I'm wondering, like I know Cap's case is in the back of that van. What is it in? Is it a duffel bag? Maybe that's not as amazing as I want it to be. So this is what I feel like it should look like. But there's a problem with this, which is this. Ooh. Uh, fully loaded. It's heavy, but it's not just heavy. It's like, it's awkward to carry. Uh, now, I do have handles on either side so I can carry it with someone else, but after having traveled with it a few times, it's time to make it a little more usable for me. And that means I'm going to add some wheels. I found these beautiful, beautiful wheels. They are... Um, they're three inch casters. That's a three inch rise. They're smart casters without a lock. Uh, smart casters swivel, dumb casters do not. I know that's an assumption about what casters desire in life, but you know, they don't have language so they don't get to participate in the naming ceremony. Um, these are three inch smart casters. They're super heavy duty. They're non-marking. They have two wheels each. I feel like these are the kinds of casters that could survive the abuse of traveling on an airplane. Um, and I'm gonna test that theory by attaching these to my case and using it next time. Um, I will also be, uh, I have some handles, some telescoping handles on order that I'm also going to attach to this, uh, but they haven't arrived yet. So first up is the wheels. I just want to show you, you know, I have everything I need to wear this costume, including my pectoral muscles. <laughs> uh, you know, every costume, one of the keys to, to costuming is to think in terms of the silhouette. In addition to all the details is to think of how the silhouette works. And I padded every possible part of my cap costume. I put shoulders in, I tried biceps, I tried triceps. And each one of those things didn't quite work with the silhouette until I just put in these two foam pads to be my pectorals. And that gives me just a little bit of a top heavy look that makes the costume work. But I always think it's funny that like, yeah, my pecs are in there. A TSA inspection sticker from uh, September, 2020. <laughs> September, 2020? Did I fly in September 2020? I guess I must have. Where the frack did I fly in September of 20? Anyway, it doesn't really matter. What matters is I love the idea that a TSA officer opened up my Captain America case and was like, oh, I guess Cap is on the move. <laughs>
you, if you, you might be wondering what bit I was using to do that because I wasn't just using a standard 5 16 bit. I was using what's called a step drill. Uh, and unlike a normal twist drill, this one makes a hole by scraping rather than pulling itself in. And so you don't end up with that, mm, that, that yank that happens. It just gives you much more precise ability to get the size hole you want. All right. Why am I working on the floor? That's a good question. I'm not exactly sure. Sort of like old habits. Come on. There we go. There we go. notice I'm getting faster as we go. I love that progression of just like the in the in situ skill that you gain in just learning how something wants to be handled. I may have to trim these down actually once I tighten them up. They're stainless but I can see that they're coming through just a little bit proud, and I may need to use my cutoff wheel to get at them. Oh yeah, that's a total disaster. Okay. do a little assembly line all of that.
you have it. It's not just luggage, it's now a viable shop store. That was quick. Oh. oh yeah, there's a little bit of flex down there, but that's fine. Yeah. Dude, I'm so happy. Ah, well, I will see you at the next con in my uh, Captain Stealth suit with a, uh, well, we'll put the uh, handle on in another quickie one day build. But thank you guys for joining me for this one. Wheels up, everybody. I'll see you next time.